こかかかこわーはーいはーい Are you hungry? <laughs> I am obviously yes Okay, so today I'm doing meatball. 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 Let's see. So, if you want to make meatballs, you need right. obviously the main ingredient means, and today right. I'm using beef and pork means 750 grams. Yes. And yes. then means. And then. Beef and pork means, but obviously you can use either beef or you can use pork or you can use both. It's up to you. Good, <laughs> good. Thank you. Then two eggs. Yeah. Eggs. Then I'm using oregano because it goes really well with meat. Whoa. <laughs> then. Then I'm also using Italian herb seasoning. Because we love Italian herb seasoning. Yes. Of course, you need salt. Yes. And of course, you need oil. Oil. I'm using olive oil, but you can use any other type of oil you want. Yes. Yes. And then something which I haven't used before in meatballs, but I'm going to try it today: minced onion granules. So let's get it done. Let's see what it is. Minced mm. onion. Minced onion granules. Yes. Yes. And then we all we also need garlic cloves. Yes. Let's I hate see. meatballs if it, uh, they don't have any garlic inside. So I don't know, like two, four, six, eight, ten, ten garlic cloves. Yes. Yes, you love garlic cloves, you eat them like that, of isn't it, Rob? Of course, of course. And uh, I am also using a slice of bread, which I'm gonna soak in water, simply because it sticks the ingredients together so they don't break when fried. Yay! Okay. If you want, you know, when you uh, prepare the garlic, if you want, you can mince it. However, I'm not gonna do that because I just can't be bothered, so I'm just gonna cut it in chunks. And as to, usual. Yes, as usual. And to make it easier for you to actually peel this garlic, what you can do is, it's not rocket science, you can just sort of use the knife and press on the... On the... On the garlic. You press it and then you crush it and then it's very easy to peel it off mm. there you go mm. peeled off so this is what Let's i'm doing do now it again, do you want to do it again yes why Let's see how you do it okay pressing i'm pressing my palm on the knife your palm yes yeah. great and peels and it feels away. very easy yes so it's not uh, luck it's actually it can be done you don't need the good good you know i've mm. seen those videos on youtube i think where with the hex like when they yes. put the garlic in jars and they shake yeah, it like crazy yeah, yeah and apparently it works but i don't think it does <laughs> i don't think well it, works. it does work for the probably for the dried one which you know really dry and that is got the peel yeah but if it's dry then it doesn't really have any taste oh, well. it's not good when it's dry right so you finish there with the garlic yeah yeah and i forgot to say that obviously you need a mixing bowl yeah it's a halloween bowl but yeah whatever. we love halloween bowls yes it's a bowl anyway whatever. yes 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 good Yes, I forgot to mention something before we start cutting the garlic, chopping the garlic, whatever. Yeah. You can use this recipe for keto diet as well, but if you do use it uh, as a keto diet recipe, don't add bread in it. Apart from that, you can use all the ingredients for keto as well. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> can we carry on yeah, cutting the garlic? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, let's do course. it. Let's do that. Let's cut the garlic. 
okay? Oh, with my key jam. Oh well, never mind. It gets fried anyway. That is, that's your style, actually, and I love it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if I try too hard, it doesn't work out. So yes, I just yes. like whatever, you know. Yeah. It goes in the stomach. Obviously. It tastes good though, anyway. Yeah. Much better than when I try too hard. So, mm. garlic, you love garlic. Mm. If I eat raw garlic, I can drink tons and tons of water. I feel so thirsty afterwards. That's Very great. much so. That's great, isn't it? Perfect. Right. <laughs> it's amazing and I finished. You know I finished? Yes. There you go. Okay, let's take our bowl. Halloween bowl. Yeah. Only because it's a bowl, it doesn't matter. Halloween yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, let's put this in the bowl. Okay, mm -hmm. just with my hands because it will taste better. <laughs> Good. <laughs> then let's add the meat. Mm. Yummy the meat. The minced meat. Yummy meat. I hate this. Ew. Oh. <laughs> right, we don't eat paper actually. No, we don't eat paper, no. no. So you do it like that? Yeah, I do it like that. And then I'm going to crack the eggs. Yeah. Can you please show... No, can can you please see how I'm cracking the egg? Oh my god, never mind. I'm cracking the egg, okay? <laughs> cracking the egg. Eh, see? Uh. Cracking the egg. Good. Good. I'm such a wonderful cook. I should oh, be a yes. chef. yes. <laughs> Did you see what Eddie looked? Yeah. But still cracked well, isn't it? There's no... Uh, There's no shell in there, no. No shell. No, it's fine. It's okay. Fine. I need a tissue. Right. Right. You get the tissue yes. and I get the meat. Yes. Good. Okay, next I'm going to add the Italian herb seasoning. I would say around a teaspoon. I think, well, it actually depends on your taste, really. So yeah. I'm just gonna go by the Run. eye. Yes. Yeah. Just randomly. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right. And then I'm going to add the oregano. Again, maybe half a teaspoon. This is a bit uh, stronger in fragrance. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, smell it, smell it. Mm. You smell it as well. <laughs> okay, half a teaspoon. Right. Okay. I'm going to add salt. Um, wow, well, a pinch of salt. I don't know. You taste it. Okay. <laughs> you know better <laughs> how you like it. I think that's enough. Right. I hope I didn't add too much, did I? No, not really. Sure. Because it's quite a lot of meat there. Yeah. yeah. And Are then. You? And then I'm adding olive oil. Yes. I don't know, how can I say olive oil? Like mm. 50 milliliters? Mm. Okay, go on. Let's see the good. Yeah, I, you know why you have to add oil actually? Otherwise, if you don't add oil in the mix, the meatballs are too dry. Right. This is something I learned from my nan. Right. My lovely nan, I miss my nan. And now I'm going to add the onion granules. Right. I have no idea how much to add. But... It's your choice, actually. I'll say two tablespoons, only because okay. it tastes so nice. Okay. And again, I'm just <laughs> throwing it in here. Right. Okay, that's, that's enough. That's okay. I need to soak my bread. Again, if you are using this for the keto diet, skip this step, you don't need bread. <laughs> and you're right as well. My bread is so, so let's just make it like, I don't know, dough. <laughs> right. Yeah, just add it in there. And then I'm going to start mixing. I actually always mix with my hands. But if you don't want to use your hands, because yeah, it's disgusting, it's roomy. I know, I hate it. But you can also use a spoon. But I'm going to use my hands because Yes. Not only a spoon, you can use a fork. You well. can use whatever you want to mix it with. Yeah. Just don't use a mixer <laughs> because right. it turns the meat into a paste. Yeah. Mix. Mix together. Mm. Like, oh. And the whole egg. 
and the raw meat and mm. the, that's all I hate, yes. Yes, the raw and the but you eat it. Yeah. Mmm, look at that. Mm. So I finished mixing. Yeah. I finished mixing and what did I wanna say? Yeah, well, if you wanna make sure that it tastes nice before you fry it, before you fry the meatballs, you need to taste. I know it's not ideal tasting raw meat, but you know, I always do it. I have to. Don't worry, you're not gonna get sick from trying. Okay. I think it's yeah it's fine I got the taste now yeah it's good, fine good. yeah so we can did I forget to add something uh, no I think black pepper I, I don't put black pepper because Caleb won't eat all right okay. he can <clears throat> taste the I need to wash my hands great Okay, so we mixed everything together and now we need to shape the meatballs. 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 So just grab a chunk in your hand. Yeah, like like what? Like yeah, an egg like size? A, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And try to make it round. So you just roll it in your hands. Right. And it's round. Okay. If the consistency of this mix is too soft, you need to add a bit more bread to it. Okay. Otherwise, you don't need to add anything. Just keep on rolling. <laughs> keep on rolling. See? Yeah. Like how long does it take? Like two seconds? Oh, well, a bit more. I don't know. Are there uh, meatball shapers things? <laughs> I don't know. Are there any meatball shaper things, guys? Do you know? Hmm. I've never even checked, to be honest. There must be if I'm asking. I'm not Probably. the only one asking. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like to do it the old-fashioned way. It's not such a big deal. You just spend your money on an extra ga gadget for no reason. Yeah. Because, you know. Or you can just buy the already made meatballs from the shop. <laughs> if yeah. you don't want to make your own. Yeah. But you shouldn't, but you know. So I finished rolling my meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> if you care a lot about the size, just try to make them all the same size. As you can see, some of mine are huge, some of them are tiny. Look but at the tiny one <laughs> As my husband just said to me, you're just doing it now to get rid of them. Yes. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> There. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So you'd probably be able to make about uh, 30 of this out of 750 grams. I don't know why I'm counting them. Oh well. My nan, she always used to count them when she made them. Yeah? Yeah. My nan, yes. She always did that. Yeah. I guess I'm turning into my nan. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, yes, maybe now we can start frying, but make sure the oil is hot before you fry. Right. Yes. I only used this oil once yesterday. <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not ideal using it more times. But I'll only use it this once and then that's it. Okay. 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 It's not dirty, it's not a dirty oil, no. I'm using olive oil, yes, okay. Right, so you, you let Let's that... See. Okay. I'm just adding one to test to see when the oil is hot enough. Yeah. And when the oil but starts bubbling. Yeah, can you hear? It's sizzling now. 
Can you hear Dora? Yeah. Yeah. Look, the bubbles there. Okay, I can start adding. You can stay as close as that. There you go. You can do fat ones as well. Wait, wait. Yeah. You just press it down. This is like, oh my god, this is like a mini hamburger, look. Yeah. <laughs> it's so big. Yeah. My god. This is what happens when you don't have patience to do it. <laughs> Well, we try to add them all, but you can't. No, no, I'm still left with the video. Yeah. So, we can fry these until they turn brown on each side. You have to um, turn them, what? Turn them brown? Brown and shit. Yes. <laughs> no, you have to turn them. Yeah, to, to turn them over. Turn them over, yeah. Yes, you have to turn them to, over. To flip them, as they say. Yes, you have to flip them over when one side is brown, so you yeah. can get the other side brown as well. And uh, it takes roughly around 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll see you mm. in 10 minutes. So they started browning on one side and I'm going to use the fork but you can use whatever you want to turn them over or flip mm. them over. Mm. I've started flipping a few already. This is the ideal color. Okay. Yes. Yes. I can't wait to try them. I know. I'm hungry. Yeah, it's like what? Well, it's like after two o'clock and you still didn't have anything to eat today? Yeah. Great. As usual. Yes, as usual. We are always the last ones to eat. Mm. Mm. That's the yumminess, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm. They don't need to be perfect, you know, because we are not chefs and we are not in a competition. We are just cooking food for our family. Foodie! And Caleb and Bia, they, are, they both love meatballs. Mm. And I will serve them with mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished my meatballs. And these are the meatballs. But... I made the presentation plate for you, the man behind the camera, so we can give these meatballs a taste test. What do you say about it? Yeah? Do you want to yes. taste them? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I was trying to make, I was trying to make a presentation because look at me, I'm trying to be a pro here. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> these are the meatballs. <laughs> Is this your presentation? Yeah, that's my presentation uh, with lack of inspiration. <laughs> you see, the chunky garlic is in there. Mm. See, you mm. love it. Yes. And then this uh, garlic piece here is just for presentation purposes. <laughs> yeah, but I might eat it as yeah, well. Yeah, well, you can. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. I do. Yes, yes. Okay, oh. give me that. Give me the camera. Thank you. So you can give these meatballs a taste test all right right ready mm. let's see let's see mm. Mm. do you like them seriously seriously what <laughs> mm. Mm. i think you can eat this whole bowl in one go now yeah <laughs> Because I'm hungry as well. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yummy. Okay. My tummy. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. All right. Okay, thank you guys for watching. The recipe will be in the description below and maybe on the screen as well. I'll see about that. Anyway.
Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.